The great island nation of Lempsp was founded shortly after Animal Crossing's midnight launch and it certainly was a happy place, home to many happy animals and Sylvia. On July 22nd, 2020, I loaded up the game eager to hear Isabel telling me for the 12,212th day in a row that there was no news to report, but was instead greeted with this. <sighs> After 285 hours of playtime, my save data had somehow become damaged. I never attempted to manipulate or move my data, I hadn't even time travelled in game. It simply broke. And now I had two options. Start over or no. If you select no, the game just shrugs at you and returns you to the home screen. So the cruelty here is that it tries to make you feel as if deleting your island is your decision. This is Nintendo's would you rather shag your ma or your da? I told Twitter what happened and received a lot of replies that definitely convinced the algorithm that someone in my family had just passed away. After a reinstall did nothing to help, I emailed Nintendo who said nothing could be done, but wished me a great day before setting the inquiry status to closed. So I take a breath, start over and suffer the indignity of learning how to craft a fishing rod again while reminding myself not to hate my new islanders just because they aren't my old ones. Three days later, Nintendo announced an island backup and restoration service. I felt cursed. And then I realized maybe I was Greek style because all I wanted on my island were some blue roses, and it was only shortly after I had finally gotten one that my data became corrupt. A classic blue rose case. The timing was certainly suspicious. That the worst should happen less than a week before Nintendo offer backups to anyone who pony up for their online service? Was I being used? as an example of what might happen to others if they're not paying their literal protection money to the Mario mob? Hey, that's a nice island you got there, buddy. It would be a shame if anything were to, you know, happen to it. The whole affair left me unsure if I wanted to continue at all, but people had been so kind in their response to what happened with offers to help me get back to where I was that I thought, Hell, maybe I should stream Animal Crossing for three and a half hours while having a steady flow of visitors dropping off whatever they can spare, but no, 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 that's, that's crazy. So I did it for seven and a half hours instead. And let me tell you, it was an amazing time for anyone who's a big fan of this loading screen. So many people were eager to help out with the new Lemsh revitalization initiative that it was truly heartwarming and server warming apparently. By the way, about the name Lemshp, no, I don't know how to pronounce it really. And if you're wondering why I went with an island name that I can't even say, don't worry about it. I've never explained the name to anyone without seeing them collapse in upon themselves with boredom halfway through. So you're not missing anything. Anyway, lots of visitors brought fossils which of course blathers wouldn't take while guests were over because um no i'm sure there's a good reason but not that it was a problem anyway it just meant that the island had to be covered with fossils this made it look like we were doing a historical reenactment of the first day after the asteroid hit when all that remained were dinosaur bones and a few surviving mammals picking them up and saying Anybody want this Diplo skull? Anybody want to display this? Hey, do you want to buy this? Do you want to sell these? I have to extend a huge thanks to everyone who came by to help because their generosity turned a very rubbish situation into something fun and positive. And now I have this sweet pill bug model and 19 million bells. I was ready to simply abandon the game for good, but now I have the means, but more importantly, the enthusiasm to continue. It's true what KK Slider said. Ramblin' this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. New Lemshp will become a great island. Greater than the old Lemshp because this time it will have been a team effort. And at the risk of turning the infinite review into a shonen manga, 
I'll say that we are stronger with our friends and we should value those who are kind enough to give us their time and their love because, after all, aren't those the best things anyone can give? Aside from a bunch of meme shirts, of course. It's good to know that new Lemsp is unlikely to simply disappear like old Lemsp did. As long as I keep Nintendo sweet, Sean's fan art of your daily horoscope should be safe. Yes, the curse of the Blue Rose has truly been lifted. Wait, hang on, was that? Oh, God. Hey, does anyone happen to know how a bill gets passed in the Senate?